I think that I've ruined my hair enough in the last few weeks. So now it is time to ruin my body. <laughs> hey guys, how are you listening? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to do something which I thought that I would never ever do again. But guess what? I changed my mind. Just like I changed my mind on my bangs. I don't like them anymore. <laughs> Sucks for me. <laughs> if you've been following me for a while, you know that I used to have big ol' ears, boy. I started stretching my ears when I was around, I think, 16 years old, and I stretched them to 20 millimeters, which is pretty big. Here's a picture to see. And I haven't worn like the proper jewelry for it anymore in like, I think, four years. Which is a long time so they definitely have shrunken they're definitely smaller now than they used to be as you can see this is what i have left Pew! Pew! i used to be able to like put my fingers through it which i definitely cannot do anymore right now but yeah this is the smallest that they go because like i said they were 20 millimeters and i'm pretty sure like everything above 10 millimeters won't be able to close up anymore I mean, it depends on the person, but generally speaking, up to 10 millimeters, it can close up again. Everything above that, you have to like surgically correct, which I was actually planning on doing. Like I wanted to sew my ears shut because I wanted to be able to wear like regular earrings. However, I couldn't really find anyone that could do it that I trusted. So I still have bigger holes, but I'm actually very happy that I never closed them up because I have decided that I want big old ears again. <laughs> Today I'm going to stick a metal rod in my earlobe to make it bigger. Because that's something that normal people do. So yeah, I went online and I bought myself a stretching kit. Shit. Kind of a stupid story, but I used to have like a lot of like stretching tools, like tunnels and plugs and all that bizzazz. And I literally got rid of it, I think last month. It is way cheaper now than it was 10 years ago, by the way. Because like this entire set was almost as expensive as like one size up. So I guess that's nice or not. Depends on how you look at it. Mm. So yeah, I have absolutely no idea what size my ears are now. So I think I'm just gonna like Grab some of these bad boys and then put them in my ears and then see if this gonna fit. So let's start with 2G boy. I just wanna say, I mean, look, I love all my American friends, but your sizing is so stupid. <laughs> like what is this? 10G, yeah. Then you have something that is way bigger. That is 2G. Then another bigger size is 0G and the one bigger than that is 00G. What the hell? You know how we do this in Europe? We say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 millimeters. Yeah, the metric system makes way more sense if you ask me. <laughs> oh my god, everything went wrong. <laughs> It's literally five hours later now because there was some very intense construction happening around my house. We have two big pictures together. So yeah, I can't even remember what I was talking about. I'm pretty sure that I was shitting on the Americans. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, anyways. Let's just get started on um, stretching my earlobes because I do not have any time anymore. This needs to be done within like 20 minutes. And yeah, it definitely seems like a smart idea to rush a body modification. <laughs> hmm. So, first things first, let's see what fits in my ear and what doesn't. Let's try 2G first. Wait, this is cute! Do I just want to keep them this size? And then this side? Oh yeah, this ear is definitely bigger. Can you see that? I can just like pull it through all the way. Let's now see what would happen if we put 
zero G in there. So this is zero G on my left ear. Is it gonna fit? I don't think it's gonna fit my way, but we can try. Absolutely not gonna fit. On the other one? <sighs> Yo! It's a perfect match! Look, I am, I, I am kind of like really into this small tunnel over here. I think it's kind of a vibe, not gonna lie. It's like not too much, but also not too little. I think that if it would have fit in this ear too, then I would have probably kept it like this, but it doesn't, like this is too small for this ear. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna try and make them even because we love symmetry, don't we girls? Or should I also stretch this one? I kind of want to see if I can go to 10 millimeters, zero, zero G. Okay, let's first just do this one, okay? Let's first do this one. In case you do not know how people actually stretch their ears, you use one of these little torture devices. <laughs> Basically what you do is you, just, you put this in your ear and then you pull it like all the way through, like whoa, and then like it starts smaller and it gets bigger in the way you stretch your ears. I mean, I really like it, but it's kind of like funny to think about that someone came up with this one day, that someone was like, wait, what happens if I put a spear through my ear? Anyways, so that's how you stretch your ears. But first you gotta loop your ear up because you definitely do not want to go in raw. I got some jojoba oil and I'm just going to put that on my ears. Oh my God, this is so nostalgic. And we also put some jojoba oil on the stretching device. And then we're just gonna pierce my skin, boy. Okay, let's see. By the way, this is 00G, which I'm pretty sure is eight millimeter, which is a little bit less than half what I used to have. <gasps> it doesn't wanna go through, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Can you see that? Can you see that? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, it is slightly painful, not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to hurt, but at the same time, I know that I've hurt myself a lot while stretching my ears. But we're almost through. I think we're actually, are we through? Maybe we are, by the way. Let's see if I can. Yeah! Wait, what am I saying? We actually are through. I am at zero G right now. Oh boy, that wasn't even that bad. Do we like it? I mean, I like it. Do you like it? I have such a weak spot for stretched ears. Like, I absolutely love them. I think they look so good. And now we gotta find a way to put the jewelry in, which was always like my least favorite thing to do. Is it in? Oh my god, look at that! I got a big old ear, boy! I am stretching. You are stretching. I am stretching Ooh. my ears. How's it going? Does it hurt? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Look! Cool. You like it? Yeah, I do. I like it a lot. Hello. <laughs> Pokey, Pokey, come on. You come wanna on. come in as well? Yeah. I love my zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, what do you think of my ear? Yeah, cool. Look, this is the first one. Yeah. This one is actually bigger. So this one is already at this size. Should I stretch it or should I keep it the same size now? Okay, do you wanna have this GG? Or do you wanna have this GG? Yeah, that one. The biggest? Yeah, the biggest one. Damn. What do you want? I don't really care, honestly. So I think I'm just gonna stretch it. Okay, so this one is 0G, and on this side we're gonna go for 00G. Zero, zero Pablo is so cute. <laughs> Pablo. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. My ear is burning. Bye. 
Your ears burning. Yeah, burning, burning man. You want to get some water? To blush it off? To blush it off? That's how you say it, right? No. How do you say it? Blush it off? How do you say it? Put the fire out? I put the fire out, but when you water the fire, and it's... Will you water the fire so it can grow? Yeah, you, yeah <laughs> so it can grow. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Oh, okay, you can leave. This is going nowhere. Google knows the answer. Hey, Google! <laughs> you know what's kind of funny? People used to always tell me that I was definitely gonna regret stretching my ears when I got older. <laughs> And I would say that I am older now and I definitely don't regret it. <laughs> I would have actually regretted it if I closed them up again. So this is your friendly reminder just to do whatever the fuck you want to do. And don't think too much about the future. I mean, think about it a little bit. Don't just get a neck tattoo when you're 18. I mean, generally speaking, don't just get a neck tattoo. Those are very intense. But other than that, stretch your ears. If you want to do it, just do it. Just do it, who cares? And even when you're young, I mean, especially when you're young, because honestly, there are so many rules that you have to follow when you get older. So you might just like go crazy when you're younger, right? Most of the things are reversible anyways. Like don't like a tattoo, you can just laser it off. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to do and it's gonna cost you a shit ton of money, but it's not like actually permanent. But don't get a tattoo of your boyfriend. That's basically the only line that I draw. Everything else, off limits. This air is slowly settling down now. It still feels a little bit sensitive, but it's not painful anymore. Honestly, I don't... People always say like stretching is not supposed to hurt, but at the same time, you're like literally stretching your human skin. Like it's not supposed to stretch that way. So how are you gonna tell me that it's a, it shouldn't be painful, right? You're stretching your skin. That seems like a painful activity to me. Anyways, put a little driplet on here. Boop. So I feel like this one is probably gonna hurt a little bit more because this needs to get stretched a little bit more. But yeah, let's see. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Oh my god, I got it! That actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It does sting a little bit again though, but who cares. Wait, now I need to see how I can put this in here, like this? No! Oh, is it right? No! Oh, I only got half of it in. Boo! I need to do it again. Wait. Ooh! Ooh! Ikiba! That stings a little bit, but it's also not as bad as I expected it. Maybe I should just use some force. Oh wait, I think it works. Force is good. Force is very good. <gasps> Look. I got stretched ears again. Oh my god, this is actually so cute. Especially now that I can put like earrings in the earrings. Wait, let me let me grab something. I love it! I really don't know why I stopped wearing this, by the way. Oh, I think it was because I was bald back then. And it was a very intense look to have like big ears and then a bald head. But yeah, um, this is the end result of my body modification. It actually went a lot smoother than I expected. Yeah, it was kind of painful, but also not that bad. But it is kind of annoying. I can kind of feel my heartbeat in my ears right now <laughs> please let me know what you think of my ears if you like them or if you just want them closed up i mean i'm not gonna close them up if you tell me to but i just want to know what your opinion is 
Also, let me know if you have stretched ears or like used to stretch your ears and now regret getting them done. Or if you do not regret getting them done, let me know. Because people, like everybody told me that I was gonna regret it and there hasn't been a single moment in my life where I regretted it. So, let me know what you think. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Kiss, kiss, bye-bye. Kiss, kiss, bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye.